Thieves hold nursing home employees at gunpoint and steal drugs. Grassley keeps heat on nursing homes, announcing new abuse hearing after an investigation's end. And Ohio aims to improve frequency of nursing home inspections. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, May 1st, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Employees at one Alabama nursing home received a rude awakening early last Wednesday when they were held at gunpoint by two masked intruders. The armed individuals arrived at Consult America Cottage Hills at about 2.45 a.m., brandishing handguns and demanding anything in the locked narcotics box. Pleasant Grove, Alabama police estimate that the pair made off with about $5,000 in narcotics. Lieutenant Danny Reed said such robberies usually occur in bunches and was convinced that the couple knew what they were doing, skipping over any blood pressure meds and stating that nursing homes are usually perceived as, quote, pretty soft targets. Police are reviewing surveillance footage from the incident and believe that they that the pair are a man and a woman and the incident is still under investigation. An influential U.S. senator and longtime nursing home critic said he's planning another Capitol Hill hearing on alleged abuse in the field. Senator Chuck Grassley, the Republican from Iowa, revealed the next steps for his ongoing investigation in a statement released last Monday. He noted that two government watchdog agencies will deliver reports on skilled care this summer, and he wants to wait until receiving those findings from the Office of Inspector General and Government Accountability Office before calculating next steps. The senior senator's comments come just days after the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services Administrator Seema Verma directed her agency to conduct a, quote, comprehensive review of nursing home regulations. Politico noted that the timing of Verma's announcement was, quote, complicated, given Grassley's ongoing investigation including a high-profile hearing last month. Last week, the GAO also released the results of another investigation accusing CMS of failing to collect comprehensive data tracking nursing home abuse in Oregon over the last 15 years. Grassley referenced the report as a, quote, indication of a potentially larger problem. We'll be back right after this break. Want a better way to invest in yourself as a CNA and for only 10 cents per day? There's no better way to spend your daily dime. Start right here at NACACNA.org. Click on membership, fill out a few boxes, submit, and you're in. With the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, you can begin your journey. With these great benefits that include 12 hours of education with the NACA Virtual Campus of Care, our monthly newsletter, the NACA Edge, will come straight to your email with a special recognition to you. Registration discount to CNA Fest, NACA's annual CNA gathering just outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. 10% off anything in the NACA Pro Shop. CNA TV, our YouTube channel that focuses on topics, current events that pertain to what a CNA is all about, and much more. Start right here at NACACNA.org. The Ohio Department of Health is seeking funding to hire more nursing home inspectors and improve the frequency of its inspections, which hasn't kept pace with the federal guidelines in recent years, partly because of high turnover among the inspectors. A state audit found Ohio's average time between nursing home inspections was 13.5 months for the 2018 fiscal year. The federal guideline is 12.9 months or less between inspections. The health department notes it has made progress since 2015 when Ohio's average was 14.4 months. It also prioritizes quickly conducting inspections that involve complaints of someone being harmed or in immediate risk of harm. The department's director told lawmakers last month it's seeking more funding for inspections in the next state budget, which they're currently deliberating. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.